G'day guys, it's Rocky and it's also Ivan and it's Friday, so it's uh, gear o'clock review time uh, where we talk about gear and have a beer and uh, I thought I'd introduce Ivan, Ivan's one of our new members of staff um, if you ring the store you'll probably find that it's Ivan on the other end of the phone uh, he's in customer services and he also happens to be a Arn expert as well which is real handy because we'd love Arn the brand so much we bought the brand the other month anyhow uh, Ivan tell us a bit about yourself about myself yeah cool so I've grew up in Christchurch I've just finished walking Tararoa after traveling for a couple years and I've moved back and um, come to start working at one of my favorite stores so um, it's lined up Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, like you say, he's done the TA. So, you got any TA questions? You ring Ivan. You got any questions about anything? You ring Ivan. In fact, Ivan's the guy's going to pick the phone up. Uh, anyhow, so it's Friday, so we're having a beer and we're talking about some gear. Anyhow, first of all, the beer. Uh, we've got a brand new garage project tonight in IPA Volume 9. Uh, fresh off the press, hence fresh. And uh, yeah, it's a good one, do you reckon, bro? Yeah, it's good. Pretty light, pretty summery. Yeah, I guess it is actually, even though you are in the middle of winter, it's a lovely warm day out there today. So anyway, I'm going to put the beer down and we'll talk about some gear. So, Ivan is wearing the new Magic 44 pack. Now, what pack did you use on the TA? I used a Mountain Magic, but it was a 55 litre, so a little bit bigger than this one, but the same, same model and such, lots of the same features. Yeah, so, Ma a Magic series, it's a 44 litre pack, and I think this day and age, 44 should do a lot of people what they need, especially with kit getting smaller and lighter. Um, so it's got, if you spin around, we've got 37 litres at the back here in the main pack itself. Mm -hmm. And then we've got seven litres in the front split over the two pocket, over the balance pockets. Um, so, you know, plenty of room at the front for your kit. We'll just uh, open them up here if you come a bit closer. Because these are you're using the multi pockets here, both pockets are split into two chambers like so. On this side, you've actually got a zip divider, so you can turn it into one. Just, just proving how much room you've got in this, by the way, we've got two Nalgene's side by side, and it's easy taking them down. So with every arm uh, bag we sell, when you're using balance pockets, you want a bit of weight in there to get that balance. So a really good system. If you just spin around for us, mate. Um, so jerry, jerry rigged up at the moment. We've got the poles on the back there, into the base. Fasten through the one thing there. We've actually put lasting lock straps on this side as well. This is an aftermarket strap you can put. So you can, if you want to, you can put a bedroll down the side of it and things like that. Now, obviously it's a lightweight pack. It's a lighter fabric. Um, how did you find yours, the 55? Because it's the same fabric. How yeah, did it go? Yeah, it was great, you know. I think it's a good balance between being sturdy, but light enough that, you know, it's not adding too much to, you know, tire you out over the days. Because you end up, especially on things like TA, you end yep. up with a lot of gear, so it's big days, and the more weight you have, the harder it gets. So. Did you find with 55 you had on the TA? Uh, was that too much room, or was that just about enough room? Uh, it was a little bit too much, to be honest. Right. I think I could have done with a couple less, probably one like this size. Okay. Um, yeah, I ended up stuffing extra gear in, so it's probably a size so, yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can always get a small pack. I have a question. What did you put in your front pockets, Ivan? I Water. Yep. Snacks, electronics, some of the heavier stuff, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. but mostly just things I need easy access to, like phone, map, GPS, that kind of thing. Yeah. Cool. Right. In terms of its sizing, it comes with two back sizes. You've got a short and a long, and through that as well is adjustment in both sizes. Um, you've also got what we've done. I think there's aftermarket straps available now, which uh, I haven't actually got down yet. So some butterfly straps. This is your basic strap system that works well for most people. Um, you've got the new buckle on there. And you've got the hip belt, if you see, you've got adjustment top and bottom on the hip belt. So you can, uh, you know, you can macro adjust that hip belt to fit you as you want it. Is that the red straps? No, this here. Sorry. Oh, right. Yes, yeah. I see that. So you can bring those. That's, that's just holding the pockets through there. Um, now, it's a light pack. It weighs 1.31 kilos. The question we normally get asked is how much weight can I put in this pack? For me, it'll take 12 kilos, but I would say 10 I wouldn't go above 10 to be quite honest and this day and age you should be able to pull that off quite easy with, with lightweight gear um, so there we go uh, that's an overview well obviously we're in, interviewing the young man Ivan here but overview of the new pack so there you go that's the arm 44 uh, speak to you guys soon cheers